We have the threat for a few severe thunderstorms late today into the overnight, at least early part of the overnight hours. We've had some showers and storms in southeast Arkansas today as expected. Now we're going to focus on what's happening late today. And I want to stress that at this time, I just don't see a lot of severe weather in Arkansas. I think some, but not a lot. But if it affects you, of course, it's, it's a big deal. There's a slight risk now for the entire state, but there's an area of the state that I'm particularly paying attention to. I'm going to get to that in just a second. Also want to mention, too, that uh, the worst of this is going to be northeast of Arkansas, north and east, Missouri, towards the east. All right, let's go to the maps here. I'll try to make this as brief as possible. You know how much I, I go on and on sometimes. Also, uh, just want to remind you as well to download the Arkansas Storm Team app. Have that on your phone. We'll be sending out updates throughout the day on that. So there's the slight risk for severe thunderstorms in yellow. And then you see an orange here. That's where the threat goes up. So this is what forecast track looks like at about 2 o'clock this afternoon. Areas of rain and thunderstorms in southeast Arkansas. But watch what happens tonight as the front comes in. you got the battle of the air masses. I should have put temperatures on this. Cooling down greatly in northwest Arkansas. But this is the area to watch. You see this? This is a high-resolution computer model. And that's the key to this. Computer model. These are never perfect. Some are better than others and handle things better. But you see this kind of bow-like feature right here. And it don't take that literally as to you know what's going on right there. But that, that's, to me, indicating high winds in northeast Arkansas. Then it's not as impressive the further towards the southwest, according to that computer model. Look what happens at midnight. So the, you got big thunderstorms going on in that higher risk area, where it's elevated at least. But you still have at midnight areas of high winds possible from Little Rock northeastward. And I can't even rule it out in the southwest Arkansas, although I think the threat is even lower there at, uh, at 2 a.m. At 1.30, you still see thunderstorms going in southeast Arkansas. Now, at this point, I think that the severe threat has diminished greatly. I cannot say that it's zero, but it has diminished greatly, and I think it's gone very, very quickly after that. So what are the threats? Severe wind, low. Severe hail, low. Many of you not even getting a single thunderstorm out of this. Many of you will not get a drop of rain. Tornado threat, very low. Flash flooding threat, very low as well. Here's the threat overall for the state, and don't forget to download the Arkansas Storm Team app. Uh, very low tornado threat for the entire state. The hail threat, one inch in diameter or greater, that's low. And the winds, 58 miles per hour or greater, that's what severe winds are. That is low across the, straight, the state. But notice medium up in the northeastern Arkansas. Remember, I was showing you that bow feature up there uh, that would uh, indicate higher winds. So as I, I'm saying, I, I just, there is a severe threat, but, you know, you look at April, this is very typical. I've seen a lot worse than this many, many, many times, but... Of course, if you just have one severe thunderstorm and it does damage to a community, it's a big deal. And that's why we're going to be there for you, no matter what. And that's why I just wanted to give you the uh, heads up on everything that we're going to be following for you today. Make sure you have the Arkansas Storm Team app. And as always, we are watching it for you. Thanks for your trust.